Hi, William Ryan here. I would like to talk to you about 17 scriptures left out of the New World Translation of Holy Scriptures 2013 edition. Coming up next. Let me talk to you about 17 scriptures left out of the New World Translation of Holy Scriptures 2013 edition. Okay, that is 17 scriptures. I want you to stick with me and I will we'll get through this uh, pretty quickly. I just want to bring this to your um, attention because many do not know that the Bible that the Jehovah's Witnesses use is absolutely not exactly the same as the Bibles that the rest of us uses. Okay, so here we go. There is an admission in the front of the Bible where it says it is evident that some verses of Christian Greek scripture found in older translations such as the King James Version were actually additions made by later copyists and were never part of the inspired scripture so they claim however because the verse division generally accepted in Bible translations was already established in the 16th century the omission of these verses now create gaps in um, the verse numbering in most Bibles, I can tell you that is false. And so here we go. Let me give you the um, the book and the verse. All right. So we got Matthew 17, 21. Um, that's missing. Matthew 18, 11. Matthew 23, 14. Mark 7, 16. All those are missing. Mark 9, 44, 46. Mark 11, 26. Mark 15, 28. Luke 17, 36, uh, Luke 23, 17, John 5, verse 4. All those are missing, including Acts 8, 37, Acts 15, 34, Acts 24, verse 7, Acts 28, 29, and Romans 16, 24. In this revised edition, those omitted verses are indicated by a footnote and at the location of the omission. So where they took them out from, they have placed a footnote to let you know. They have removed them, but as you, you notice, they have made the claim that um, these are not necessary. They were additions at a later date in the um in the, the, the Greek scriptures or in the translation like the um, uh, King James Version. This is what the, the, the Watchtower Society has claimed. However, all this is false. Now, the reasoning is, um, is unfounded, and I have got a few uh, scriptures that I'm going to read for you that will tell you that the... the the verses that they took out of their Bibles are still included in these particular Bibles that I have read. All right, so these are the 10 partial verses that have been removed. I won't read all 10, but I'll definitely read some of them for you, okay? And before I do that, you know, in removing those scriptures, whether partially or the entire thing, it creates a problem because now when you read, you don't get the very same story. You don't get the very same understanding because something is missing from the uh, passage. And normally you read uh, from about two verses before and maybe two verses after. If there is verses after the, the point that you are trying to understand so that you get the full context of what it is saying however they have certainly went ahead and removed some things but at least they are they are admitting to it so we got revelation 1 verse 11 new world translation and it reads like this saying what you see write in a scroll and send it to the seven congregations in ephesus in smyrna in pergamum in Thyatira, in Sardis, in Philadelphia, and in Laodicea. That was New World Translation, and that's how it reads. All right, now we have got Young's Literal Translation, Revelation 1, verse 11. Same passage, it says, I am the Omega, and no, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And now that line right there has been removed. Okay, because what comes next, it says, what thou dost see, write in a scroll and send it to the seven assemblies 
um, in Asia to Ephesus, Smyrna, and it goes on. So I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and and that's where it ends. That piece right there has been removed from the New World Translation. We also have got John, First John 5 verse 7. It says, for there are three witness bearers. This is what is, is written in the New World Translation, for there are three witness bearers. And that's it. But in, in um, New Life Version Bible, the New Life Version Bible, it reads like this. It says, same passage. You've got, there are three who speak of this in heaven, the Father, and the Word, and the Holy Spirit. These are one. So now you have got the Father, and the Word, and the Holy Spirit. These are one have been removed from the New World Translation. Moving right along, we have got Colossians 2, verse 2. Um, and it reads like this. I'm trying not to read the whole thing, but it reads like this. This is so that their hearts may be comforted and that they may be harmoniously joined together in love and may have all the riches that result from the full assurance of their understanding in order to uh, gain an accurate knowledge of this, the sacred secret of God, namely Christ. That's the New World Translation. Now, what is missing is this. It says that their hearts might be comforted being knit together in charity and in all the riches of the fullness of the sorry, of the fulfilled understanding to know the mystery of God and Father and of the Christ. So, and Father and, just, just those three words have been removed. And to remove those three words, just those, those three, you may say, well, it's not significant, but it is because they have certainly altered the text when you have removed and Father and because then it, it, it doesn't read the same. If you, you see what it says, it says, uh, to gain an accurate knowledge of, of the sacred secret of God, namely Christ. So it doesn't, it, it pulled out the piece farther um, out of it. For what reason? I have no idea. So you be your own judge and see if um, this is significant, yes or no. But it's, if it's deceptive at best. This is the problem. This stuff here is deceptive at best and claiming that they are Christians and denying the truth, denying the divinity of Jesus Christ. Uh, we won't get into that now, but I've got some other videos that I will be posting later on. It will be talking about the uh, foundation of the Jehovah's Witnesses. It will speak about uh, Arius, the priest um, of Alexandria. And the fact that his theology is the theology, which is Arianism, that the uh, Watchtower Society slash Jehovah's Witnesses, this is the theology that they follow, namely uh, believing that Christ is a created being. He was not there from the beginning. He was created by the Father at some point. And so he is not equal with God. But we will get to that at some point. So I want you to stay tuned. I want to thank you for uh, joining me. Thank you for watching. If you have subscribed, once again, thank you. Leave your comments. Please share these videos. It's very important that we share and grow this channel. Also, if you're here for the first time, thank you for visiting. I want you to go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you will not uh, miss out on any notifications when new videos are posted. I've got a lighthearted moment for you, which I call laughter is good for the soul. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, Lay your hair down for lack of a better uh, expression and, um, you know, laugh a little bit. Let me read something for you. This one is um, entitled Time and Eternity. It says, a man was, was taking, taking it easy, laying on the grass and looking up at the clouds. He was identifying shapes when he decided to talk to God. He said, God, he said, how long is a million years? And God answered, in my frame of reference, it's about a minute. The man thought for a moment, then asked, God, how much is a million dollars? God answered, well, to me, it's just a penny. And with this, the man thought a moment longer. Finally, he asked God, can I have a penny? And God answered, in a minute. And so <laughs> I pray that you got that, um, that humor. You know, a, a thousand years uh, for us is like one day. And, um, you know, a thousand dollars or a million dollars is like a penny. 
And so, you know, he wanted to get rich. He asked God, uh, you know, can I have one? But God said, in a minute, that's going to take him another thousand years. And, you know, uh, man, don't live that long. So, hey, and once again, I thank you for joining me. My name is William Nelson Ryan. Um, I pray that God will bless you and keep you and you will have his eternal peace. And until next time, shalom.